I'm Ed Riley at Niagara County Family Court in Lockport with an update on the fact-finding hearing involving a 14-year-old boy. That teenager is now charged with criminal mischief, arson, and criminally negligent homicide, all in connection to the massive fire at the HTI recycling plant on Ohio Street last August. The fire also took the life of 14-year-old Joe Phillips, who died after becoming trapped in a burning, unused office building on the east end of the property. Investigators say Phillips and the teen defendant entered the boarded up building for the purpose of lighting papers on fire, but it got out of control. The boy who is now charged was able to escape. Defense attorneys acknowledged their client was in the building, but said it was Phillips who lit the fires and it was Phillips who took too long to get out. Today, the owner of the property said he was alerted to a fire just before 6.30 p.m. on August 10th. But 911 records show police did not learn there could have been someone in the fire until a half hour later, even though Phillips' friend had a cell phone on him. Prosecutors are preparing to introduce a report showing that both boys were calling each other after the fire started. However, the defense has questioned the accuracy of the report, and family court judge John Batt has ordered a review. Now, prior to that, Derek Martin, the owner of HTI Recycling, testified that his company has suffered $13 million in loss from the fires, with thousands of dollars in new losses every month. And that's resulting from things like lost production and the cost of landfilling materials. The teenager's mother also briefly took the stand today, saying she did give permission for police to search her son's iPhone on the night of the big fire. And when court resumes, we hope to learn more about the calls between Joe Phillips and his then 13 year old friend. More tonight on 7 Night with News.